comic book culture is seemingly everywhere these days. So it might surprise you to learn that most comic books are actually illegal. Wait. Seriously? So section 163.1b of the Criminal Code of Canada makes it a crime to possess, print, publish, or sell a crime comic if you are possessing that comic for the purposes of sale. Like that's a legit that's thing? A legit law. Oh, um, I think it's really silly. And if you're thinking that the latest comic featuring Batman, Spider-Man, or just about any other hero would fall under this law, well, you'd be right. The letter of the law is drafted sufficiently broadly that virtually any superhero comic book that we're familiar with today would violate the letter of the law. This little known provision in Canada's criminal code dates back to the 1950s. A backlash began against depictions of crime, violence, or horror in comic books, ultimately resulting in these depictions being banned by law, a ban which technically is still in effect today. So just how much time are you looking at for selling a comic anyway? If they did choose to pursue it as an indictable offense, the maximum sentence which a court can impose is two years imprisonment. <laughs> is this job worth two years in jail? Mm. If you're ever convicted. <laughs> mm, maybe not, I don't think so. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, snail people. Of course, all those contraband comics, what with their depictions of crime, violence, horror, or sex, are still technically illegal, right? So I suspect if you called the police and tried to report the sale of a crime comic, they'd probably laugh at you and hang up the phone, thinking it was some kind of prank. If the government really wanted to take action, they should just get rid of the law because it's silly and kind of outdated. <laughs>